goal today in this brief video and it's it's in regards to two ends of of the spectrum if you will one being pride and the other one is you going to the point of believing the slanders of satan and at times that can be hidden under false humility at times that can be hidden under you believing the lies of satan so much to the point that you use them as an excuse for you not to do the work that god has for you on this earth understand that the purpose that god has for you it is not simply for you to attend the local congregation and sit there all day long he has a special plan for you a special purpose for you what is it go talk to jesus christ and ask him because it's a special one but today i want to look at two ends of what usually destroys a christian's walk in exodus 4 10 through 12 we see and moses said unto the lord O oh my lord i am not eloquent neither heareth for nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant but i am of slow speech and of a slow tongue moses was a man that god was calling for a specific purpose but moses as many of us at times believe the lies of satan where he tells you that you're not good enough to preach the gospel well, he'll tell you that your grammar is not good enough to preach the gospel. Well, he'll look at all sorts of slanders and Satan throws him in your head and it makes it sound like if it's your own words. Here we have a man of God who he didn't know what God wanted to do with him. The purposes that God had with Moses were huge. He couldn't have foreseen all of the miracles that God was going to do. The only thing that Moses could see at that point in time was his imperfections. I can't speak well. I can't talk well. And if many of you watch these videos that I make, I can't type well. I can't pronounce certain things well either. We have imperfections, but this is what makes Christianity different. This is what makes it the only way that Jesus came not to seek perfect people. He was the perfect one who died for these imperfect people. If you were perfect, he wouldn't have had to pay the price for you on the cross. But the wages of sin is death. He took your place. And he now dwells among his people. And now when you are weak, in him you are strong. And now when you are at a point where you are hurting deep within, where deep within your soul someone has betrayed you, someone has talked about you, someone betrayed every single ounce of trust, that you had for the body of Jesus Christ, I want you to know that Jesus wants to make it well. And that at times we can believe the slanders of Satan. It's amazing. It's amazing how, how often... I mean, think about this. When you listen to a song on TV, it's a catchy song. You remember the hooks of the song and it's in your head all day long. But the scripture is so powerful, so full of deliverance, so full of power of God. You can't even remember the Ten Commandments in order. And you've been reading the scriptures for years. Why is that? The opposite end of this situation is pride. Pride hinders so many walks. The scriptures tell us in Galatians 5, 7, ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? And quite often we forget that the number one hindrance that we have is pride. Pride. In Matthew 19, 19 to 22, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? He was boasting in himself. With false humility, he was boasting in what he would do. 
Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. We're speaking about pride, which can creep on a believer at any moment. I am not exempt from it. You are not exempt from it. In fact, the large majority of people who say, I'm not prideful, they're full of pride. Pride can sneak up on you like a thief. And it will tell you that you're so nice. Oh, you're so great. Oh, your channel, it has 20-something thousand subscribers. Wow, hey, good job. But we have to recognize and realize today, my family in the Lord, that in these two extremes, one where you're consistently critiquing yourself, you're consistently speaking negative things to yourself, you're consistently bringing yourself down. It's not bad enough that you have Satan as the enemy. Now you're beating yourself up even worse. And then we have the other one where you're just puffing yourself up. How did we get to these two points? Because we took our focus off of Jesus and we put our focus on ourselves. You see that? But God is calling his people to put that pride aside, to put the slanders from Satan aside, humble ourselves, and just be as honest as we can with Jesus Christ today and ask him to restore our walk with him. To give us that joy of our salvation once again. Quite often in, in this walk with Jesus, no matter in what side of, of your walk you're on, whether your problem is pride, whether your problem is depression, anxiety, whether your problem is gossip, you're a gossiper, whether your problem, I, I don't know what your problem is on forgiveness. Quite often in this walk with Jesus Christ, we can develop a stony heart. God wants to remove that stony heart today. Quite often I've used this example, but I think it's very important to use it today. In John 11, 39 through 40, Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou should see the glory of God. But quite often God knocks on our doors. God came to Moses and said, Moses, let's do this. And Moses said, But God, I can't look, look at my imperfections. God went to that young man and said, Hey, if, if you love me, then, then, then do not let money become your idol. And he went away sorrowful. God has an amazing purpose for your life. And this purpose is not going to be like anything told to you by Joel Osteen or by many of the prosperity gospel teachers. But I can tell you, there's nothing more amazing in this world than having a person whom God used you to preach the gospel come to Jesus Christ. There's nothing greater. Nothing greater than the tears of repentance. Nothing greater than you just watching God. Because the 100% of the glory is God. Use us, the weak things of this world, to confound the wise. Nothing greater. And my challenge for you today is for you, me, all of us watching this video, for us to put our pride aside, 
for us to put the slander from Satan aside and for us to come back to the Father and allow him to be the potter and allow us to remember that we are the clay. Heavenly Father, pray for those that are watching this video today that all of us may understand that you have an amazing purpose for our lives. You know, Lord, quite often, especially when it's time for me to make these videos and preach, you know very, very well that the first thing that I think and then goes through my mind is how dare you pick up that microphone and preach. You are so imperfect. You are so flawed. Oh, now you're going to go and preach. How often does that not happen to me? And how often does that discouragement not happen to brothers and sisters in the Lord who maybe have fallen off track and now they're at that point where the enemy's telling them, hey, so now you're going to pray? Okay, let me get this straight. So now that he's tempted you and made you fall, then he's going to come to you and throw it in your face. That's what Satan does. But Father, we come today asking for you to take away these stony hearts that have so blindly accepted the life of sin and that before sin would hurt us and would make us feel so sad about sinning, but now it's like nothing. Oh, Jesus, restore our joy of salvation. Restore our walk with you all of the brothers and sisters from all different countries watching this in jesus name let's wake up the purpose that christ has for you me all of us it's important stay faithful in jesus name god bless you and your family amen You've seen the videos. You've seen the films. You even shared the content. Now pass by www.tallyforgod.com and join the fellowship. With new videos, forums, chat, and 100% free content. With new features allowing for everyone to fellowship with each other effectively. Meanwhile, being able to finally spread the gospel of truth to the masses. My brethren, join the movement, join the community, and join the revolution of Jesus Christ.